hello friends so what I have today for you is definitely valuable I am going to demonstrate how Microsoft SQL Server's latest edition of release that is 2016 has embraced uh, R and how we can build predictive analytics with the help of the current edition of Microsoft SQL Server release so R is one of the most open source widely used analytical uh, language which is used across the globe by most of the data scientists and it and make uh, making it I mean it being open source adds a lot of variety to the build and the packages and also to the visualizations so we can have rich visualizations analytics uh, with the help of R but then what constraints it is actually if I may say so it it loads the data on the memory and it's memory intensive so if you were working on a lot of data R would have to first load it and then uh, it would work on the analysis part which means if you are building a very complicated model uh, you will just be paused for eternity so that's where Microsoft uh, SQL Server embraces R it tries to get the R script closer to the database and operate on top of it so uh, let's take a look at this example I and I and I hope I'll be able to convince you clearly uh, how Microsoft SQL Server R is, is much more powerful and it has, it has to offer uh, a lot of things uh, over and above what R does today so I have a very simple example to builds and get started with what we will be looking at is an organization uh, which has a salary of of the employees their age experience and gender so our uh, independent variables for this uh, predictive model would be age gender and experience and we will be predicting the salary of the employee uh, and say the organization hires a couple of more uh, employees I mean candidates who would be potential employees for the uh, organization and based on these uh, three uh, fictitious in uh, independent variables we would like to predict the dependent variable or the response variable that is the salary so age gender and and experience these three become our independent variable and we will try to model uh, a simple linear regression a model and and come up with uh, the salary as predictive uh, for prediction and response so this is the file it is a CSV file now if I were to open it on the R studio and build the model let's take a look what it goes so first of all this is the R studio that I have uh, this is the directory where my file resides so let's set the default directory first we have done that and then we load the file into the R and then let's take a look at the data and plot so if you see this is the data that has been loaded for the salary gender and ex experience and then we have the plot so the alongside plot is the QQ plot which gives the variance of each of the variable against the other uh, I've uh, and then we have the model I wouldn't delve deep in the uh, statistical part of the inferences and, uh, and how it is drawn today because that is uh, not the idea of this video this is more of a technological exploration uh, and how how we do that we'll just focus on the technology bit first so let's see uh, let's try to build a linear model so what we are saying here is our response variable is salary and we are building a linear model against the age experience and the gender so we are factoring gender because gender becomes a categorical variable which is ha uh, which is having two va values male and female uh, and it's not linearly related so because if you look at the graph as well you can see the gender would have a value 0 and 1 always so the concept of dummy variables come in uh, comes in here but I would not explain that as of now it's out of the scope of this video uh, so this becomes a model and let's take a look we run this model on R so what we what we get is the uh, model and its summary uh, so this is the model that we have built in R as of now now let's take a look how we can do this at Microsoft so again Visual Studio 2015 has the add-in for R so let's go and take a look and do the same so this is what we are looking at is Visual Studio and okay before that I would like to say that the data has been loaded into the database uh, and I have done that into a small table uh, the same CSV file and what I have done here is I've added another column let's uh, call it type historical and predicted so these were the 15 records on which we are going to build our model and on top of it we have some new candidates let's say four candidates 
of the age 28 six years of experience female and the company wants to to uh, decide the salary for these uh, candidates so we want to predict the values of the salary uh, for these four candidates that's the whole idea so currently the table looks like this now let's go back to the R's from Visual Studio so uh, we have to install a RODBC to be able to connect to the database so I have done that if you have not you would need to install that uh, call the library RODBC and then we have a connection so basically what I am doing here in th this uh, statement I am trying to connect to my server the server is casing the database and the trusted connection yes so uh, now I would be connecting it and then I would be firing a query to retrieve the data so I what it, the query that I'm firing is I'm getting all the uh, salary age employee gender from the uh, let's take a look yeah salary age employee gender from the the table where salary is not null and type is historical so if you again take a look at the data I want basically these records okay uh, yep so that's that's the first statement let's try to like uh, take a look and run this and view the data right so this is the data uh, we can fire a view data and, and you'll get you'll get the the values so these are the 15 records that we have loaded uh, cool so now let's take a look at uh, the sal data here itself so we get the same data here in this window it's similar to that of r the, the look and feel is still similar and consistent with that of r uh, now let's plot uh, the the data uh, over a qq plot so basically it gives uh, the plot is along is alongside at the right if you see this is this is the same plot that we have got here so you can see salary with age age with experience and gender so basically if I were to say let's let's interpret one of the graphs for that matter let's say age and experience so age and experience going with this uh, value we can see it's linearly increasing as experience increases the age also increases uh, similarly if we can say uh, as aging increases the the salary also increases so and, and vice versa so and gender, the gender has the value uh, 0 or 1 because it being a factor variable uh, okay fine now let's took look uh, quickly take a look at the model we are going to build the same linear model uh, and then we have built the model uh, now let's take a look at the summary so this is the summary uh, let's try to interpret a little uh, over the summary so this was the model that I executed over the factor and I what I said was the summary gives me an intercept and over uh, the, the coefficient of determination of 90 point uh, point 0.9 which means 90.05 percent and the adjusted square of 87.34 percent so what this means is uh, the predictive capability of this model that means uh, based on the three variables of age gender and experience I will be able to predict the salary of the employee with a consistency or a confidence interval of a confidence of 90.05 percent uh, the intercept for uh, this uh, model is has the value of this coefficient and the coefficients for each of the uh, beta 1 beta 0 and beta 2 variables are as so what this means uh, especially for this I would say it means the coefficient for the male variable when uh, uh, the, the candidate is male the value of the salary increases by this value over that of the female okay so if I were to uh, pick uh, pick the formula you can see this this would be the two formulas for my model so salary would be equal to the coefficient of uh, uh, intercept coefficient plus the coefficient of each of them that is this times the experience this times the age and for male it would be plus this times the male while for female there would not be anything so it would it would be it would take a value of zero uh, now if we take a look at these stars what we see is all the all these three variables uh, are uh, significant because the p-values are less than five percent so for a 95 percent of p-value we can say this is uh, uh, a significant variables uh, there could there could be a lot of different analysis that would go in I could run a Kiki information criteria uh, Bayesian information criteria to first find out the attributes relevant attributes uh, and then uh, find uh, and do a finding on the multicollinearity and then go ahead and, uh, and try to take off it uh, take the best fit of the model 
do a, a check on the heteroscedanticity to see if, if all the residuals uh, are normally distributed or not. Uh, there could be a lot of tests, but I'm skipping all of the, those because uh, that is not the part or, or, or the idea of this video. So let's say we are going with this model that we have built and we are moving ahead and we want to predict the salary. So let's take a look at, at and we have got the formulae finally with, with this. So now we want to do the scoring. So let's say predict salary. For predict salary, what we are going to do is we are going to pick these variables. Again, again we'll be picking up uh, this query right so uh, let's take a look what this query returns here on, on SQL Server yeah it's already there actually so if I were to run this this query it would return the four values of the candidates for which I want to do the prediction okay so yes so let's load that value and then we load that value here so these are the four employees, uh, a candidate employees, I would say, uh, and then let's change the data type for each of them, uh, and then we run our final model. So this is our model which says, if if it's a male, run this formula, otherwise run the other one. So yeah, that's there, and now we do a predict sal. So this is a predicted salary summary. This is a predicted salary summary that we get on the R. Now we have to do the same thing in SQL Server. Now let's switch over from here and take a look how we can do the same on SQL Server. Cool. So on SQL Server, we are here in the, uh, on the 2016 instance and we are running SQL Server R services. So uh, let's say the important part is uh, when you run SP configure for that server just do a small check that you have your external scripts enabled if you don't have just run this and reconfigure your server and then do a, do a restart for your sql server instance that's it uh, and and check the value that this is enabled once this is done now let's move on to the actual code so uh, we will be using the sp execute external script command what this does is it enables you to run the R script language and this is the script that we are going to run this is similar to what we ran on our Visual Studio R and then we have the input coming in as a data set which we want to predict this is the this is the query that we are going to run the output is a data set which is uh, of the predicted values and then it has the, the data type as age experience gender and salary so this is a stored procedure which I have created it's already there now let's try to run this uh, stored procedure uh, and let's see what it gives you so it gives you this the salary values uh, for the four employees that we were so, so what SQL Server is doing it's taking this script closer to the database running it on top of the data and predicting and giving you the value for the R script that you have run uh, now okay I'll run a bunch of commands quickly let me run uh, this command and then so currently because I'm, I'm doing that because currently our table for the predicted values is empty so these are basic uh, very basic commands so let's run this and now let's go back right so for predicted values we have just updated got the value we have run the stored procedure here we have what we have done is we have run the stored procedure and then updated the values for uh, the table so that was a quick demonstration on how we can use R to build the model uh, and then uh, drop this script in SQL Server and get it executed. I am really hopeful that this will add a lot of value to you guys in terms of understanding how you can use R. R is really very powerful and, I, and any, uh, any analytic, analytics that you would want to perform, I would strongly recommend R over anything today. So with that, uh, I'm signing off. I hope you've enjoyed the video, you've learned something out of it. Uh, and if you have, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to drop your comments 
Thank you, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.